good morning. Happy Easter to everyone watching this video. Right now is we're going to be celebrating Easter dinner today at my brother Drew's house and taking the opportunity, you know, to worship the Lord and thank God for his resurrection. So, you know, there's this big mis misconception about so there's this big misconception about Easter. Easter. Easter is not about the bunny, it's not about eggs, it's not about egg hunting or anything that way. The true meaning of Easter is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. After Jesus Christ got crucified, he got he resurrected three days later and went up to heaven. That is the true meaning of Easter. When they mentioned the word Good Friday, it's not a Good Friday because it's the day he got crucified. It's never good. Like what the world perceives Easter to be is not what it is. I thought about coming on here and explaining to the world the true meaning of Easter. So again, Good Friday wasn't a Good Friday because our Lord Jesus Christ got crucified. Actually called Bad Friday. Anyways, Easter is not about bunnies, Easter egg, and, and any of that, all right? The true meaning of Easter is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So, allow me to get dressed now. I know I look crazy. Um, just got out the shower. It's been a long, 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 long night. But now let's see what is tea cooking today. Today again we'll be around family, and we'll be celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We'll be worshiping. We'll definitely say a prayer, especially on this camera. So if you need a prayer, comment below. Tell me your name. We'll add you on here. But thank you for all the new subscribers that joined this family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, we got more to come. This is the Adventures with Be Easy Man. I know I talk about certain political things from time to time, however, because I must, I must. Anyways, continue to subscribe, please. Let's get out here to 100,000 subscribers. Let's push this channel to the top. Let's go. I truly love it, but this mint color, it just brings out my color. Yeah, I did say that. But I love this mint color. This mint color is fleek. You know, I feel crazy without my but we're definitely gonna go grab that because I, I sneak that. But yeah, look at that. Look at that. So we're here waiting for the food to finish up, waiting for Drew to walk in the door. I was super early. He told me to come. He said the doors were open. Huh? Family, come over you want. Okay, I should have brought my nightgown. Dime por tu gato lo que quieras Yo te llego en cualquier manera Semi-automatic Shoot my shot and burst until I had it Fuck with you Make it from scratch? I make my spaghetti sauce from scratch. I do not buy jars sauce. So what's included in this pot right now? There are meatballs, sausage, and pork. Wow. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Thank you. you so, what's on the agenda? What about potatoes? Oh my gosh, you gotta ask the boss. She's doing all the what? cooking. It looks like uh, turkey. You the potatoes. Yeah, the the tires. Potatoes. They're boiling right now. Oh yeah, that's all we can see. You want me to stick my finger in here? Or can I have something to... <laughs> that's stuffing. Let's see what we got here. Ham. And then all that came off the ham. No, but this is. Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, that's it's in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna talk to him. I had him, him wait on that all day. No. I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna work. Work. You think he's gonna bring animals yeah. to work? Yeah, <laughs> Super diabetic. Oh my god. Yeah. That is what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna eat. Say, you buying a drink for everyone? No, I mean, big wolf. <laughs> I 
I am. Literally. Dear Lord, thank you for this food we have before us. Thank you for the gathering of family, friends, and those that are both. Thank you for your sacrifice on the cross. This is the reason for the day. All this we are grateful for in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'll say this to Donald Trump. And I want someone to take this message directly to Donald Trump. My dear friend, do not be engaged in no space programs and do not support no space program. But focus on Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you have mentioned his name in some of your talks. And if you truly believe in him as you have been talking about him, then I encourage you from the bottom of my heart, it is now hanging by a thread. Mr. Trump, you'll know, you'll understand what I'm saying. I don't want to say everything, but you'll understand what I'm saying. It is hanging by a thread. If you do not focus on Jesus Christ alone, America is gone, finished. The next superpower will wipe you, will wipe everyone, and it will bring total destruction. You cannot win the election, Mr. Trump, if you do not bow before Jesus Christ. Rely on the Lord and be faithful to the Lord because those puppets in the White House, they are there to destroy you. We know the elections get rigged. They play with them like they did the last time in America. Biden, he wouldn't have even seen it in his dream. And I don't know if he's the true Biden or he's a replica. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe he's not the real Biden. Yeah, well, there are certain presidents in the world, they have copies. Oh, that's, that's, that's not a conspiracy theory, that's a fact. They have copies. But listen, Jesus knows. Jesus sees and Jesus Christ is God in control. I pray Trump comes and wins the next election. And then I want to talk to you face to face, Mr. Trump. And then I want to tell you a few things in secret. And then it's up to you to believe it or not, to accept it or not. When America goes, you can kiss everything goodbye. When Israel gets struck by a superpower, remember it's World War Three nuclear warhead. Billions of people will die. So you don't need to depopulize the world. You know what's controlling all this? His name is Jesus. The sweetheart. And to every church leader, please, for the love of Christ, for the love of Christ, I am begging every church leader, stop selling your Lord. Please, I beg you. Speak the truth as it is. Fear no one. Fear nothing. Say it with love and respect, but in their faces sharper than a sword. With love and respect. Mr. Prime Minister, I will not adhere to this nonsense. Work. It is the way that you stand to the bruises of fate that shows up your stature and girth. And victory is nothing but proof of your skill, veneered with a glory that's thin. 
unless it is a proof of unfaltering will, and unless you have suffered to win. <laughs>